so much conversation around the protests that happened a week ago and the hunger protests might have come to an end but the question is that what is the way forward has the government addressed the issue or it was just merely an exercise by nigerian youths one of the most important thing or take away from this particular protest is what happened from the northern region of the country we have seen the governor of Nasarawa state come out to talk about the armagery in the northern region let's not forget that the good luck ebele jonathan administration was trying to establish an armagery school in the northern region but he was insulted that school never continued after his administration but now fast forward to eight years later now you can see that in the protest both young old and children can be seen protesting on the streets a meeting where you will say oh religion has forbid me from doing this oh this today god has gifted us the governors with this leadership if we don't go out to say this has to be done right during this last uh, protest that we had in Lafia, majority of those that came out on the street where the Almajir is, some of them some five years old, seven years old, nine years old, a lot of them didn't even understand the meaning of the protest. When I spoke with them later, they didn't even know what they were protesting against. You know, so we must sit down. At one point in the year 2020, we sat down as the governors and took the decision about the Almajiris. Unfortunately, it didn't work out uh, well. It, they, they went back to square one. Some of the uh, religious leaders criticized it, this and that. But from what happened now, I don't believe anybody will continue to criticize actions that will be taken in order to move forward. Otherwise, it will come It's a time bomb. It will come and consume every one of us. So from what you've heard from the governor of Nasarawa state and also for the fact that the flag of Russia was seen during the protest in the northern region, what does that signify to Nigerian sovereignty? Now they are calling that they need the help of Vladimir Putin of Russia. This is this is because when you look at Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali, whom are neighbor to the northern region of the country, and you could see that the military took over from those country from those uh, in those country, and then you can see the rapid development happening in those country. Hence the call for military takeover in Nigeria from the northern region. So will you now blame them for calling on the military or even Vladimir Putin? So the question here is this. The government tried to, trying to give people rights at every given opportunity, which they believe that the common man on the streets, the only thing that he needs is just rice, just to eat, and then he can keep quiet. But they fail to understand that it's just a matter of time with time and just like what just happened in the northern region it will spread across the whole country and they will be unable to curtail it hence the need for the government to look inward and see how they can solve this particular problem in as much as when a man or a woman is having some kind of pains and then decided to take some pain relief medication that is just like treating a symptom of the particular issue in your body system. So by the time you go for a total overhauling or checkup, and then you find out that this is a particular disease or sickness that is disturbing your system, then you can treat it holistically. But when you look at this situation in Nigeria, when they see that you are asking or making demands for some certain things, they give you rice. And then, if you talk too much, they use the military on you. And that, everyone could understand and see from the NSAS protest and bad governance protests in Nigeria, which happened one week ago. So, what is actually the way forward? Will the government now look at this whole issue?
and then look at how they can move things you know better going forward now there is a plan like we have seen on social media that from the 1st of october this year there's going to be a 10 million man match across nigeria this is just like a warning to the government we can see that there are protests cutting across the, in the world and nigeria as of today cannot afford to break into any state of anarchy as it stand if the government allow it to happen do you believe that the tinibus administration have the capacity to deliver when it comes to the issues before them let's have this conversation in the comment section thank you for watching